I've always wanted to be a scientist. I remember when I was seven years old, I was looking through career booklets and I decided back then that that's what I wanted to do. And when I got to high school and university, uh, I gravitated towards chemistry, biochemistry. When I did honours, which is really a year of research, that's when the research bug really hit me. So I've been at Walter Lyser Hall Institute for quite a long time. I did my Bachelor of Science and Honours degree at Griffith University in Brisbane and really wanted to go to a place that I'd heard was the best in Australia and so I came down here to do a PhD. And after my PhD I went to the US for a couple of years to do research over there in Berkeley, California and then came back to Weihai in uh, 1987 I think it was, so I've been here quite a long time. So we, we've focused on malaria, which is a major disease of, of humans, and we try to understand how it infects and causes disease in humans so that we can then use that information to try and develop new therapies to treat uh, this important disease. In particular, in, in perhaps in the earlier days, we started off trying to understand how the malaria parasite, because it's caused by a parasite, can evade the effect of anti-malarial drugs that are used against it. One of the things that uh, uh, was clear that we needed to do was to, to work out a way that we could genetically manipulate the parasite so that we could change it and, and, and ask questions about how it infects humans and how it causes disease. And we did that here. So the genetic technology that we developed to manipulate the genome of Plasmodium falciparum, the malaria parasite, was important because it meant that we could knock out genes and we could start to think about trying to develop a vaccine, a live genetically attenuated vaccine, in other words a, a malaria parasite that can still infect humans but is crippled and so can't cause disease. And so we could manipulate it genetically so that this parasite could be used as a vaccine. I think that's a really important approach for the future. So the, the Victoria Prize is obviously uh, extremely prestigious and I'm very honoured to receive that uh, and it's really important uh, for the work that we do because it will enable us to increase some of the effort that uh, we're doing, particularly on vaccines. My name is Alan Kalman and I'm incredibly pleased and proud to be receiving the 2013 Victoria Prize.